Hello students, in this lecture we will be seeing what is robot cycle time analysis. So first we will see what is cycle time. It is a time period required to complete one cycle of operation or to complete a job, a function or a task. Next, what is the cycle time analysis? So it is a technique which determines the total length of time an activity needs to complete its cycle. And also it is a method which collects and analyzes the time data for a process to improve the total process or a system. So there are some of the benefits in the cycle time analysis. They are to identify opportunities for the breakthrough and then to identify non-value adding activities in a process workflow. Then uh, to achieve continuous process improvement, that is uh, time as a core measure. And then uh, you have other benefit as uh, to analyze the gap or difference between actual and theoretical time to completion. So if suppose the cycle time analysis is not done, then it leads to uninformed equipment purchases and indefensible functionality capacity evaluators report will be generated. So next we will be seeing now uh, what is a robot cycle time analysis. So it determines the robot production rate for a job and it is significant in economic analysis of robot installation and service. And there are two methods of the cycle time analysis. So the first method is method time measurement it is denoted as MTM and the second method is robot time and motion and it is denoted as RPM. So we will be seeing one by one. So first is, first method is MTM. So it analyze the method for performing a given task by human operator. That is the work cycle is divided into basic motion elements and standard time value for the task is set. Which means this MTM analyzes any manual operation or the method into the basic motions required to perform it and it assigns to each motion a predetermined time which is determined by the nature of the motion and the conditions under which it is made. Okay, now coming to the second method this robot time and motion that is RTM. So this estimates the time needed to perform a work cycle before setting up a work set work cell and programming the robot and then it enables evaluation of alternative methods of performing robot tasks and then it is used as a guide in selection of best robot for a particular application so by comparing the performance for a given work cycle so there are several approaches in RTM method so the first approach is the table of elements where time values are determined for different elements and then second approach a development of regression equations for uh, more complicated elements that are functionally related to several factors and then you have third approach so it is a motion control which is applied to motion elements and it is concerned with the kinematics and dynamic analysis of robot movement so where we will be finding the distance velocities acceleration deceleration etc and then the fourth approach is the it defines a path geometry so specification of the motion path simultaneous actu actuation of several joints and uh, it involves a robot joint and arm velocities and there are some work cycle elements in the rtm method so which is broadly categorized into four groups so first one is the motion elements so this gives the manipulator movements performed with or without the load and then sensing elements, sensory activities performed by the robots, that is vision sensing, force sensing, position sensing, etc. And then you have end effector elements, it relates to the action of the gripper or tool attached to the robot wrist. And you have delay elements, where time delays resulting from waiting and processing conditions in the work cycle. Earlier we have seen the work cycle elements of the RTM method. So major uh, classifications we have seen as motion elements, sensing elements, end effector elements and delay elements. Now there are uh, 10 general categories of the work cycle elements 
and each is denoted with a different symbols. For uh, Rn, it moved the unloaded manipulator along the path comprised of n segments. Then the symbol Mn which denotes the move object along the path comprised of the m segments. And you have uh, Orn which denotes the move manipulator mainly to reorient. Then you have uh, Se categories which is used to stop on the position error or bring the manipulator to rest immediately without waiting. Again you have... Uh, other category is SE2, so which will bring the manipulator to rest within a specified position error tolerance. And then you have other groups of uh, SF categories, where uh, which denotes the stop on force or moment. So it stops the manipulator when the force conditions are met and when the torque conditions are met. And either the force or the torque conditions are met. And then you have uh, other categories SF where the touch conditions are met. So these comes under the S of different categories. Then you have VI, it is for the vision operation. Then you have um, GR categories, so which is used for grasping an object. Okay, so how you will be grasping an object, whether by closing the fingers or with whether the hand over it, that is while centering or closing one finger at a time. Based on that, you have uh, different symbols denoted and you have uh, other uh, symbol re which denotes the release object by opening the fingers then you have a t and d which denotes process time delay and uh, time delay when the robot is waiting for a process completion respectively Dot. now we will see an example in robot cycle time analysis so consider this uh, see this picture the work cycle of the robot consists of a simple task in which the robot must move the parts weighing 3 LV from one conveyor to the other conveyor. So here the sequence is given here. First, the robot picks up the part from the first conveyor which has delivered the part to a known pickup position. Okay. And then the second sequence is robot transfers the part to the second conveyor and then it releases the part. Then robot moves back to ready position at the first conveyor. This is the sequence given. So now based on the sequence, we have to uh, write the work cycle elements okay, and its symbol. So first step is the conveyor delivers a part to a fixed position every 15 seconds which is given. So robot in ready position above conveyor must await path delivery before executing its motion cycle. So since this is your, uh, this will wait. So you are using the symbol as D which is which is your uh, wait time time delay okay and then second robot ap approaches the part with the gripper in open position so where you are using the symbol as ra next robot gripper closes on part so you will be using the grasping uh, symbol as gri okay and then robot lifts part okay so where you will be using the m i m uh, symbol okay and then you have a robot moves the part to your position and then robot moves the part to the conveyor. So all this comes under the move position of the object. So for all these you will be using the symbols as M. Okay. Then robot gripper opens to release part on conveyor surface. So where you we have seen the symbol as RE. Okay. So that you will be using. And then robot moves empty gripper away from the conveyor. So, uh, this comes under the category RI and then uh, finally robot arm returns to the ready position. There also you will be using the symbol as R1 for RI or R for the reposition. So, that is all about the robot cycle time analysis. Thank you.